Hi everyone, um, today I received my Noodless ink which I have mentioned to you before. I have made an order on Amazon um, after researching different inks and this one had great reviews and it's meant to be a bulletproof um, ink which means it's um, um, waterproof and you should be able to kind of um, use it in your journaling and um, go on top of watercolors, underneath watercolors, different mixed medias, etc. etc. So um, I went for this big bottle which is 4.5 ounces and in milliliters it's about 127 millilit milliliters and I decided to it's quite expensive um, but I had a lot of good things about it and you know so I'm intending to use it a lot um, I went for this pack which includes a pen as well now the pen doesn't feel that fantastic quality um, but I wanted something cheap so that I wouldn't ruin the nib of my uh, Lamy pens because I have two now I have um, this one here which is the um, Safari um, fine and I also have another one which is a an extra fine but anyways I am intending to actually one second I'm intending to put some of this ink into this Lamy which is the extra fine um, and I also bought a converter so I think the way you're supposed to use this I figured out that you kind of use it as a syringe and kind of get the ink like that like vacuum it um, pull it into the cartridge so I will have to figure out how I'm gonna do it I'll probably put some in a little um, dish like a watercolor mixing palette or something and then do it that way and then I'm going to use it in this Lamy so but today's video is going to be predominantly about just this ink and the the set that I have ordered so this like I just said is um, you know is, is um, a cheaper kind of uh, well a cheap fountain pen um, when you compare it to something like Lamy and I don't uh, so this Lamy I just want to use for writing because it's gorgeous so I don't want to um, break the nib or get it blocked or anything like that when I'm going to use it over gesso or um, other mediums so this pen you unscrew and that's what you get so it looks quite simple I think these nibs are one one dollar. It says it came with this little um yes, it's a one dollar nib, so they're very cheap and I guess you can easily and quickly um change them. And yeah, so it, this pen has a little um smell to it and I think it's because of this silicone, if you can see the brown part, um that they put into here it's like oil based um, or some sort of lubricant it smells a bit um, funny but um, I guess it helps the ink to stay inside so what you do is you take the ink which I will intend to do in a minute um, I have I'm, I'm ready with my ranges craft mat, uh, mat so that if I do any spilling at least it's not going to go on my desk so yeah, so it comes, this bottle comes with a pipette and um, apparently, so in this box when you open it up you get this little information kind of piece of um, paper here and it tells you that it's um, the very first fountain pen in 1879 was an eyedropper filled fountain pen. So um, they basically employ that mentality that it it is better to use the pipette and or the eyedropper to um, put the ink inside the pan and not have any cartridges or wastage that way which 
won't work for something like this obviously but um, it would work with a pipette if you're if you're intending to paint with it um, or use it with the brush for um, brush lettering or things like that you could also fill it in one of your um, water brushes if you like so there's a, a lot of things you could do with it um, but today I'm just intending to fill up this pen and I want to try it out and see how it works. The um, nib has a little round ball at the end. I'm not entirely sure what the thickness is, it doesn't say that. So I guess I will compare it to my fine nib um, safari. Okay, so I'm going to start by unscrewing this bit here which holds the nib. And then I'm going to press on the pipette to load the ink inside. Wow, that's a very long pipette. I don't know if you can see, but it's very long. And then you meant to go in and drop it in like this. It feels like the pipette is out of glass as well instead of plastic, so that's good. Now you meant to fill it up to here where I'm holding my finger and when you get, get to one third you should fill it up again because they warn you that if you have only one third of the ink left in this plastic part then what could happen is when you write you could um, heat the heat from your hand can heat the ink and it might overflow so they suggest that you don't let um, it get less than one third in the pan and fill it up or they also said that if your pan starts leaking then make sure you fill it up so um, let me see, I'll grab some paper to try it on. I have to say I really like the design of the bottle, it feels really good. The um, So I went for a black colour and it's called the Heart of Darkness. It's quite a um, kind of um, dark illustrated label. Um, I'm not too into that but um, I do like the glass bottle and the pipette, it feels really good um, in my hand. So now that the pan is filled up, I'm just going to try and see, actually this is, I'm going to try on this side here somewhere because this is the um, Inktober um, swatch list and it came right in time because I was going to use this ink. So I have a corner here and I'm going to try and start. And at some point, I guess it should start coming out. Unless I... Oh, no, don't do that. <laughs> but it's working. Let me just use a quick tissue to dab it off. It's very intense, this ink, very black. The nib is nice and thin. It's, of course, not the same quality as my Lamy because... Um, if I do Lamy next to it, just one second, I um, don't get these this variation, I just get a straight, nice straight line. So this is my Lamy Fine next to it. So I could say that it's slightly thicker but not too thick. So yeah, I like the thickness, it'll be great for illustrating. And I'm just going to go ahead and do a little, um, do a little square just to see if it's going to bleed through because I have a feeling it might do. It feels very intense. Um, okay, so I'm just going to write need there. I mean, if you try. Um, if you try Lamy writing with anything which is worse quality than Lamy, you will feel the difference immediately. But like I said, I didn't buy it for writing, I bought it for 
illustrating. Let's see if there is any bleeding through. Okay, so writing-wise there isn't any bleeding through, but if I'm intending to kind of scribble, it will bleed through. So it's got about similar bleed through as as the um, Sharpie permanent marker. So, there. Okay, well, so that's the Sharpie and that's the Moodless. Not as much, obviously, but writing-wise it compares to that. So yeah, I, I'm happy um, with the actual ink. It's super black. It's um, quite intense. And I will actually try and go ahead and do a little illustration of a gesso. Okay, before my camera dies, I'm just, um, or my battery, I'm just, so this is where the, um, the gesso is. Yeah, it feels really good. It feels good, like it's, um, it's nice thickness. Perfect. Yeah, I'm very happy with it. It writes beautifully. Um, and there is no um, transferal. So yeah, I'm super happy with it and um, it's fantastic ink. I would really highly recommend it. Thanks for watching and see you soon.